Here he comes. Teenage father, take one. John Travis? Yeah. Don't worry. Guys from the film crew, huh? Right. Is that going already? Sure is. I thought you were just going to talk to me. Well, we're here to talk to you, but the best way to get used to a camera going is just to turn it on and forget it's going. Listen, just go about what you're doing, and we'll talk to you. It's going to work. <laughs> What do you want me to do? <laughs> well, we told you on the telephone, you know, we're doing a film about teenage fathers, and uh, we want to talk to some guys that are in that situation. You know? Your counselor at the high school said that uh, he talked to you and you agreed to be in the film. Not a father yet. <laughs> yeah, he will be, I guess. <laughs> yes. Listen, we just want to hang out with you, you know, and, uh, you know, see the things you, you know, do. Okay? Okay. <laughs> out here cruising, talking to their chicks, racing their cars and stuff. Listen, why don't you tell us a little about yourself, you know? How old you are, what you like to do? Uh, I'm 17, a senior in high school. I don't know, I like to drive my car and listen to tunes, you know, and play basketball sometimes. How about your girlfriend? How old is she? Kim? Uh, she's 15. She's a sophomore, you know, at my high school. She just doesn't do too much right now because she's seven and a half months pregnant. Fifteen's pretty young. How's she taking the pregnancy? Okay, you know. She's, uh, she's pretty grown up for her age. I help her out too, you know. I talk to her about problems and stuff. I think she'll be all right. Really sound together, right? Wasn't it a big shock when you finally going to be a father at 17? Yeah, it's a big shock. My parents is a big shock too. My dad is... All right, superstar! Sometimes, you know, we just all come out here and cruise on Wednesday night. <laughs> Show me a good sign. Try to be serious because I want to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, anybody been in the same situation John's in, gotten a girl pregnant? Oh, man. Seriously, once it happened to me, my old lady, she missed her period. Oh, God, he gave me a scare. You know, you know, so I finally, you know, took her down, got everything okay. You know, negative, everything's all straight. You know, all right. She's not pregnant. I'm Looks a free man. Ever after. I wish. Yeah, just like the fairy tales. Anybody else? It happened to me three times. Uh, <laughs> your sister? <laughs> Give me a break. Oh, well, what, what, so what if it was In my your sister? Dreams, right? Well, listen, okay. what about contraception? Uh, whose responsibility is it? The guys or the girls? The girls. The guy, it's probably both. The girls. Why is it the girls? Come on. It's so much easier for her. Well, simple. She needs to just pop up here. Oh, uh, you tell me it's really hard to just slip a rubber on? Come on. Yes, it is. What's wrong yeah. with the rubber? In clinical tests, nine out of ten <laughs> people said that it takes away half of the feel. Yeah, yeah, you no. weren't in that, though, were you? <laughs> you know, it's great. too sloppy. You know, I have to break the momentum. You know, excuse me, dear, I gotta go through my wallet. Oh, oh, God. God. Right, how about putting yourself in John's shoes for a second? Uh, no John, play. what about you? I mean, it's a little late for you, but what kinds of things could you have done differently? You could pull out sooner. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's that would have done it. Pop no, I, uh, I think we should talk more, though. Because if I, you know, if I'd known sooner, I could have, uh, she could have got an abortion. An abortion? Yeah. It's not the wrong oh, John, that, No, that's a little bit too harsh. Oh, man. Come on. Better than having a kid and tying yourself down. Really? No, not an abortion. I don't care what these guys say. But no one's going to kill my kid. Come on. 
Going up on adoption. How do you feel about that? No, I think that's wrong, too. Well, what do you, you don't want an abortion? You're not for adoption? Are you going to marry her? What are you going to do? <laughs> hey, I'm not going to marry her, either. You got to do one and you are. I don't believe well, it. What would you do? How would you raise cool. a kid? Well, if, you know, if her mother can't help out, I'm sure my mother can. Gip, how about you? I let a girl know up front that if she's going to have any kind of problems, don't even call me, because I don't want to know. <laughs> nice I don't guy. Want to know. Mr. Nice no, that's, guy. that's it's different if I would do that afterwards, but up front, it's, it's cool. <laughs> There's no way that they can prove the baby's yours, by the way. And uh, if she tries to pin it on me, I'll just deny it. I'm going to stand deny it. Danny? I don't know. I guess I'd stick by the girl. with Let her have the abortion and everything. And I don't know. As long as she didn't start getting out of line, making some outrageous request, you know, like, Oh, I want the best doctors or something like that, but I know one thing for sure. I'm not ready to be a father, and I know these guys aren't either. How about it? No, no way. We found out about the pregnancy after five months. It was quite a shock. Very unfortunate, I think. Very sad that uh, young people at, at that age... Their lives are changed. They've taken the, the fork in the road. John, you mean you went with Kim all those months and you didn't guess that she was pregnant? You weren't aware? Yeah, I was a, I mean, we thought she was at first. What do you mean you thought she was? She had a period and then she missed it and then she had it again, so we thought everything was okay. Yeah, but when you accept the responsibility of performing the act, all right, then you made a choice. But you, you should realize that this, uh, there's the possibilities of this other too. Well, I accept the responsibility. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, after all, John is only 17, and... And she's only 15, 15 years old. Well, it, I mean, they're not knowledgeable, you know, or experienced about things like this. I think they're too like knowledgeable this. in some respects. They teach him this sex education business in school at too early an age, I think, and it puts ideas in their minds. I really do. Well, I don't... I don't agree with that. I, I believe in communication. I think that it's good that this is taught in the schools. In fact, John and I, uh, about a year and a half ago, um, had a discussion about going steady and getting serious. And we both agreed that it was, it was better to wait, you know, for that sort of thing. They want to go steady right away, right away with each other. What are you advising, John? To accept the responsibility. They performed uh, an adult act. They should, uh, he should be ready to take care of a, of a wife and a and child. That's what he should take care of. It. Yeah, I mean, financially, too. That means getting a job. That means getting out and working. And, and uh, your life changed from what we had in mind for you. Respons and being responsible. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. Talking to your parents is pretty difficult, huh? Yeah, it's difficult. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty ticked off. My mom, too, I think she's pretty hurt, you know? She's pretty close to my mom. At least we could talk a lot, you know? Did you talk to her about sex? Not about sex. <laughs> what about the relationship with Kim? When did you guys first start having sex? I don't know, four or five months after we started going together, you know? Well, the first time we had sex was like, she just came back from a vacation, you know? and. We really missed each other, and, I don't know, it just happened. Did you talk about it? Didn't talk about it. You didn't talk about birth control or anything? Well, we didn't do it that much, you know? I, I mean, it, once a week at the most, maybe, but... Well, like, after a couple months, I started using a rubber, but I guess it was too late, you know? Where did it happen? In the car? No. We was in her house, you know? Her mom works. She's gone in the afternoon, so. One time, you know, her mom, she was gone, and uh, she came home early, and I had to climb out the window. <laughs> yeah, climb down the street. <laughs> it's funny. And her mother, how did she take the pregnancy? Not very good. She's, she doesn't like me very much, you know? She never did. I don't know. She's real bossy and everything. She's trying to tell us what I had to do. First thing she wanted to know was, you know, why don't you get married? When are you going to marry her? Have you thought about getting married? Yeah, I thought about it, but... I mean, I'd like to have a lot more money if I get married. And I'd like to be older, you know? I'm only 17, Kim's only 15. I'm probably the first guy she's had sex with, you know? How about you? 
I don't know. I've known a couple girls, you know, but I come out some kind of run around guy or nothing. I just, I, I just a lot of things I want to do, you know, before I get married. I want to travel and. Now I was thinking about being a court reporter because they got really good hours, you know, <laughs> and you know that's a couple years of junior college and all. And it takes money. And I'd like to spend some time with my kid if I have a kid, you know. I don't want to be working all the time. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. We well, see, we've been talking to people, you know, to help us in like this uh, social worker Susan Cronkite I told you about. She's been helping us, you know, with all the facts and things. And I don't know. Looks like to me that adoption looks like the best thing to do, you know, just so the kid will have a good home and so, you know, Kim and I and everything, get everything straight. So I think that's what we're going to do. You guys ready? Yep, rolling. Kim, John, how about the two of you? Sure. Yeah. You sure are doing an awful lot of squirming. Yeah. What's it like for the two of you when you see uh, Kim's changing, changing body? It's kind of scary. It's kind of funny sometimes. It's always making jokes about my stomach. Well, it is getting bigger. Yeah. What about in terms of the baby right now? You know, where do you both see yourselves? Uh, time is drawing nearer to when the baby's going to be born. Well, we've, you know, been talking about it a lot. And I think uh, the adoption is it's what we're going to do, you know, just because we're so young. and. We both want to finish school, and we don't really have the money to raise a kid the way we'd like to. And, uh, you know, so I, th I think it'd be best for the kid and for us, the adoption. How about you, Kim? What do you think? Yeah, I guess he's right. I don't know. It'll be hard to give the baby up. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She gets real emotional about it, you know? I'm not emotional. I just... Like, what if the baby gets bad parents? It's not going to get bad parents. Yeah, how do you know? Because they check them real carefully. They have to fill a lot of forms and stuff. And they, they give good parents. But she's, you know, because she's connected with the baby. You know? And I'd be emotional, too, probably as emotional as she is, if I saw the kid. You know, that's why I think we should get it kind of settled right before you know, the baby's born. You know, it's the best thing for the kid. What about you, Kim? You know, what do you think would be hard for you in terms of the adoption? Well, I mean, I've had the baby seven months, and it's like someone taking part of you and just giving it away. I mean, you're attached to it. You don't want to give it away. You don't know what's going to become of it or anything. What do you think it would be like if you kept the baby? It'd be hard, but it'd be worth it. It'd be fun. <laughs> it'd be fun. It would. I mean, teaching how to walk and talk and stuff, it'd be fun. There's a lot more to it than that, Kim. I know, well... Like, my mom was telling me, you know, that uh, it's 100% of your time to take care of a little kid. Yeah, how long is that for? Oh, you have to do everything for, I don't know, five or six years. <laughs> Try about one or two. I don't know, I think that's probably more than that. But anyway, you, you could finish high school in one or two years. So? So what do you think it's going to be like? How is, how is it only uh, one or two years? Well... After one and two years, they just, they grow up, you know? It's not like they're always depending on you. They, I don't know. Yeah, but you haven't got any place to live or nothing. I mean, you're not going to, what are you going to do, stay with your mom? <laughs> she, you know? I don't know, I might. Oh, come on. She hates her mom. <laughs> Sounds like it's not settled for you at all, Kim. I, I just want to do what's right. I, I'm not sure yet. I mean, not sure. I'm not sure. I see a lot of teenagers that are involved in pregnancies, and there's never an easy answer. Actually, John and Kim are really unusual in that only about 7% consider adoption. Uh, those uh, teenagers that get married uh, usually find that their marriages end in divorce. Uh, most often, the girl elects to raise the baby herself and has to live in her parents' home and that sets up a lot of family conflict. Kim didn't tell me until she was four and a half months pregnant. I've raised two daughters, and my older daughters turned out just fine. I thought that Kim had two until this situation occurred. I raised my daughters as I was raised, by very strict rules, but very fair ones. I know that Kim doesn't believe that, but I really have her best interests at heart. 
I only want what's very best for her and now for this baby. I'm just sorry that due to a broken trust, this all had to happen and we're all having to suffer. I, I know that one of the points for doing this interview, one of your requirements, was that John couldn't be here. Do you hold him responsible? Yes, I do. It's not to say that I don't also hold Kim responsible. I mean, she knew the facts of life and she knew what she was getting into. But John is older. He claims to be a responsible young man. And I think he should act that way and do the right thing and give this baby his name. But he's not going to. He's been responsible. I'd like to know in what way. Has he asked you to marry him? No, we don't want to get married. I see. How do you plan on raising this child, then? What do you plan on doing? She has no idea of what it's like to be a mother. She's a mere baby herself. I'm not a baby. Why do you complain when I ask you to clean up or do the dishes or make your bed? Now she'll have to be the one to take care of a child. Get up, work for it, take care of it when it's sick. She really thinks it's just going to be playing with dolls. It's not like playing with dolls. No, I'm sure that it's not, but you don't know that. I do. Now she expects me to raise this child. There's no way that I'm going to do that. I've had two children of my own. I don't expect you to raise him. Well, I don't know exactly what you think you're going to do. And I'm not quite sure where the fathers fit in all this. One of the main reasons that fathers probably aren't involved is that I think most teenage fathers just have a hard time relating to being a teenage father. Or they feel guilty because they can financially support their child or they're having conflicts with the mother, and that gets in their way of relating to a child. Since the pregnancy, there's not very many people I can talk to. Well, my friends are good guys, and we joke around a lot, but I, mean, I can't really talk seriously with them. And there's one guy I can talk to, this guy at work, Charlie Hughes. I just think he knows what I'm going through. Hey, what's he gonna do? Owl. 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 My owl ball. That's your son, huh? Yeah, this is Devin. <laughs> he's a good boy, he's big. Hey, he's a chip off the old block, man. He's gonna be a basketball player like me. John tells us that you're one of the few people he can really talk to about his situation. Uh, yeah, well, like, I know what John's going through, man. Uh, I went through the same thing myself in high school. You know, I had a girlfriend, and uh, her name was Wanda. She's my wife now. At the time, man, she was pregnant, and, uh, you know, I didn't see any other, any other alternative except to marry her. Uh, I wasn't into abortions, and uh, I certainly didn't want to you know, just leave her, man, because uh, she's really into being mama. That was important to her, you know, so. Uh, I think it worked out for the best, man. We got this little rascal now, and we all happy, you know. How's it been since then? How, what have you done? Uh, well, I, I've worked a few jobs. I fried hamburgers for a while. Uh, I pushed a mail cart at the bank. And I'm, I'm a quality control man over to Sizzler, man, where John worked. We worked together. That's where I know him. Uh, but it was, uh, it was rough, man, up until then. Yeah. How about at home? How's it been there with your family? Uh, it's, you know, a little shaky sometimes. Uh, it's all right. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's hard, man, when you're young and you get married. I mean, it just is, you know? And I try to tell John that, man, uh, like Wanda, man, she doesn't understand. I have to work. I have to, I have to make money so that this kid can have clothes and food in his stomach, you know? And I'm out there trying to make it, and she's, when I come home, complaining to me because I don't spend enough time with her, you know? Uh, she doesn't understand. She wants to go to high school. She wants to go back to school, man. And we had decided, you know, when we got married, that was the decision. Now she wants to go back to school and leave the kid next door with the neighbor? No, uh-uh. That doesn't go with me, see? Because uh, I love my kid, and nobody else is going to take care of him except for me or her. Hey, come here, buddy. Come here. You want to play with the ball? I do get upset that he's not uh, with Devin that much. One day a week, he takes him out, buys him a snow cone or something, you know? Every day, the same old thing. He's out on a job where he can meet people and, you know, talk. I'm here with the baby doing the same thing day in and day out. It's a drag sometimes, you know? And um, Charlie, you know, he understands it if he told you about it, but he ain't helping me out none. One day a week, that's all he comes and takes the baby out one day a week. You know, hey, I need some free time too. Such a clever innocence With which you do your sorcery As if somehow the years just bow And let that young girl go free I thought I was a child Until you turned and smiled I thought I knew where I was going Till I heard your laughter flowing And came a 
Hi, Kim. <laughs> yeah, it's me. How you feeling? Excited? <laughs> it's next week, huh? <laughs> uh, I called you because, you know, we haven't been talking about the kid or, you know, what's gonna happen. Well, can't you tell your mom I gotta talk to you? I mean, I, I can't come over and see you. Hey, Kim? She hung up on me, man. She do that a lot? I told you she'd do that this time. She, yeah, she does it a lot. It's her mom, you know? I can't go over and see her. I can't talk to her or nothing. They're tight now, you know? She used to hate her mom before. You know, six months ago, we had a, everything was pretty good between us. She get in fights with her mom, you know, and have to call me up, come over and settle her down, talk to her. Now it's just him, you know. That's, we'd usually end up making love after she got in a fight with her mom. She's probably just using me, you know. Think she's thinking about keeping the baby? I think so. I don't know, but she's not sure and she won't talk to me about it. They say if she keeps the baby, DA will come after me for child support. I ain't got no money. Can't have enough money to keep my car going. Probably take off somewhere, I don't know. You sound pretty upset. I'm upset. Can't do nothing until I find out what happens to a kid. I mean, I, I always want something taken care of, you know? I just want to do what's right. And I... Are you thinking about the baby? Yeah, I'm thinking about him all the time. You know? I it's just want him. Yeah. A boy? I hope it's a boy, I don't know. I just want him to get, I want to get taken care of before I see him, you know? Because when I see him, I'll probably like him. And I don't know, I just like to get it settled. Gotta talk to him, huh? He just doesn't want anything to do with it. He wants to get rid of it. Uh, is that what he said, he wants to get rid of the baby? No, not exactly, but he what? wants he wants everything to go easy. He wants to make it all a past. Is that what he said about adoption? Did he say he thought it was easy? No. What did he say? He said it was hard, but he doesn't he doesn't really act like he means it. Sounds like you don't want to believe him. I don't know. I he he's so set on it that makes me think that maybe I should think about keeping it. So what are the reasons that you don't want to think about adoption is because John feels that it's the best decision? Is that what's no. happening? No, well, my mom, she thinks I should keep it. I don't know, she's always saying, we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that. It's not her baby, it's mine. That's right, it's your baby. What do you think would happen if you lived at home with your baby? I don't know, it'd be my baby. What would happen? Maybe I'd have to move out later. And how would you manage that, Kim? How would you manage to move out? I could get a job. What kind of job? You're 15. Have you ever worked? No. But how could you get a job? Just find one. I don't know. Some friends of mine said I could. Me and the baby could get welfare, so. Yeah, that's true. Do you think you could manage on that? I guess so, yeah. Do you know how much you'd get? Mm -mm. Then how do you know if you could manage? I don't know. I just have to try. Kim, how can you make a decision if you don't look at all these things? I don't know. We don't need that much money. Why does everyone keep saying we need money? We'll be able to do things. I don't know. You're begging me, John's begging me, my mom's begging me. Why don't you all stop? Maybe Why do you keep doing this? Maybe because we care what happens. You don't act like it. Is that because you don't want to think about anything? No, it's my decision. It's my baby, and I'll raise it the way I want to. That's true. 
But you also don't seem to want to think about anything. There's nothing to think about. Is that really true? I don't know. I don't know. It's my decision. That's true. But do you think the problems just go away by not thinking about them? No. But it's my decision, and I'll make it. Did you guys get here? Just a little while ago. Susan called us. Yeah. She called me. She said her water broke early or something. She had a short labor. How do you feel? Hiya. <laughs> You got here real quickly. Yeah. How's everything going? Okay. Uh, congratulations. Okay. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Kim had a baby boy. Great. Her father. Great. You were right. It was a boy. Yeah. Should have some cigars. <laughs> you want to see him? Can I? He's in the nursery. Yeah. Sure. Come on. That went in the middle. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, got a lot of hair. Mm-hmm. I had hair like that. Mom said. Talks <laughs> Same color as your hair. Wow. I got that around my mouth, too, like that. Don't I? Yeah. Wow. He's okay, huh? Everything's mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, he's just fine. He's doing real well. She's okay, Kim? Yeah, she's fine. Her mom's in there with her now. She down there? Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe I'll go down and say hi or something, huh? Well, I don't know. She's sleeping in. You know, her mom's in there with her. I'll just be a few minutes, huh? Um... She asked me to, to ask you not to go in. I'm not going to do nothing. I mean, I well, just want to say hi. She's afraid that you're going to get into a fight. I'm not going to get in a fight. She changed her mind. About the adoption? Yeah. She's going to keep the baby. She decided, like, she told me she wasn't going to do that. I know. I think I helped the kid. I should talk to her, you know? No. Maybe later, John. Not now. I think I should talk to her, you no, know? come on. Let's just... I don't have any rights. I mean, I... I'm a father, right? I mean, yeah, she has father. to have my permission, doesn't she? No. She can change her mind without your permission. Turn it off, will you? I said, turn it off! Child, until you turned and smiled I thought I knew where I was going Until I heard your laughter flowing And came upon the wisdom in your eyes Surprise 